know, we have a big uh, tabletop gaming culture on this team. So there's games going on usually daily. Yeah, we saw it all upstairs. And, of course, the right answer is never enough. Nobody ever gets to play enough. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's nice. I mean, how, how much when you guys were designing it, was there a big uh, uh, big feel in the background to, like, make sure this makes this building taller, make this more grandiose? I mean, was that... Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, the, the sort of splendor and decay, you know, is always a huge drive. That sort of tagline from the, from the codex has always been a huge, huge driving force in the art direction. Of course, going for, like, the massive... You know, gothic architecture. One of the scenes in the demo that you saw were the huge statues, you know, that the, the, the giant statues are holding up those huge towers. It's really about sort of bringing the whole thing about how the man, how man is sort of repressed in this world. You want to sort of shift that weight and even the art direction, kind of layer that kind of into the background, stuck in with all the sort of gothic feelings. It's not just big for big sake. We're trying to, you know, hint at different types of themes found in the world too. That's cool. Um, so when you guys design, like there was a couple like orc things, when you guys are designing new units in the game effect like we saw the, the orc flyers and stuff yeah, like yeah. where do you guys draw inspiration from i mean storm boys storm boys well there was yeah, a storm yeah, boys yeah, but yeah, like there's the big boys, flyer yeah. ships running all around those big flyer ships yeah yeah oh, i mean our a lot of our influence are just honestly just from looking at the uh, all the great designs we've done for former 40,000 we just pull that directly in and of course we got you know i mean relic's packed full of gamers and science fiction fans and you know the, the guy who actually designed that ship we're talking home roll one, home roll two, so it's oh, yeah. kind of a nice marriage. Right. But the checkers are kind of like a nice little homage on the back. Fits both IPs. <laughs> no, it looked great. No, I definitely, there was definitely some home world feeling. Like, I actually wrote down in my notes here, like, looks like uh, uh, Battlefleet Gothic Orc ships. So, like, I was like, that, somebody who's been playing Battlefleet Gothic and home world, like, this, this totally makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, you know, definitely some big fans for both of those games. Nice marriage. It's a bit of relic, you know, we're going to sneak a little bit of that stuff. Yeah, of course. Cause first, um, well, I mean, you. I, the only thing I can say, you guys look like you're doing a great job, and I mean everything in there looks amazing. I think every person who plays this game is going to really enjoy it, and uh, I, I don't want to call it fan service, but, but I love you. <laughs> <laughs>